All right, here we have the graph of g of x. This time, they say sketch the graph of y equals negative g of x. So I'll underline that. That negative is outside. So we can think of that as a vertical reflection. Which means you're going over the x-axis. The x-axis equation was the line y equals 0. And looking at this graph, where graphs change, I would say those would be two important points. I'm reflecting it vertically now over the x-axis. Can you see that this is one block away? So reflected would be one block away. And I say one block away because according to the scale, the scale is actually, each block is two units. So this is two units away, this is two units away. But I would just count, okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, that's where the two points are. Now, if I start to reflect it, sort of be like, okay, this would be down there, curve, curve. And it's going to go up, and it's going to intersect the red graph at a very important point. And sometimes on the final exam, they're going to be looking to see if you have this point accurate when you graph both on the same one. So I want you to think, if you reflected the red one, top part gets reflected down, bottom part gets reflected up, which point would stay the same? Which point would be both on the blue graph and the red graph? Close. The x-intercept. Right there. And if you think about it, on an x-intercept, what is your y-coordinate? Zero. And then you multiply all your y's by negative 1. That would be the only one that doesn't change. So it'll go up like this. Again, we have to make sure that we have arrowheads on our graph to show that it continues forever. So when they're looking at your graph, they're going to say, do you have the right shape? Do you have the key points in the right place? And that x-intercept being the same would be one of those key points. State the domain and range for both of them. Since it goes forever, the domain will be everything for the x. Same thing, it goes up and down forever. Everything for the y. The same is going to be true for the blue one, but I'll just practice interval notation. Negative infinity to infinity. write down the questions 4, 5, and 6, 10, and 11. <laughs> 